This is the five star dribbling and turning warehouse. Are you ready? Great players have the ability to dribble, change direction and turn in tight spaces. This five star dribbling and turning workout helps you develop the coordination, speed and agility necessary to become skillful and confident on the ball. Let's get it started. The five star dribbling and turning workout requires 10 flat discs and two tall cones. Using the flat cones, set up five gates, each three yards wide and three yards long. Place the tall cones two yards back from the first and last gates. Ladders. Burst out of the starting position and turn using an inside cut at the second gate. Outside cut at the third gate. Outside cut again. Drag back. Another drag back. Speed and control with your dribbling. Cruyff turn at the fifth gate. Cruyff turn. On your final turn, use a roulette at the middle gate, dribbling around the back cone and return using another roulette in motion. Stop the ball to finish. Do three total reps with 20 second rest in between. Three to five minutes of total training time. Weave. From the first tall cone, dribble to the outside of the first gate. Weave down the right side, in and out of the cones with your right foot only. Control the ball around the back tall cone and weave back through the opposite side. Stop the ball to finish one rep. Then repeat on the left side. Do two reps on the right side with the right foot, then two reps on the left side with the left foot, with 20 second rest in between. Three to five minutes of total training time. This is the ladder speed test. Remember, you're trying to beat my time. Watch Wayne at full speed. Inside cut at the second gate. Outside cut. Drag back. Full speed but focus on your control and technique. Cruyff. Roulette. Stop the ball at the first gate and quickly stop the clock. How fast can you finish? All right, your turn. Slalom. Accelerate out of the starting position to your left side and dribble at speed, cutting in and out of the cones. Use inside cuts to make all five turns and return down the middle of the gates at speed. Stop the ball. Do this twice, then repeat on the right side. After you complete two reps on each side with inside cuts, repeat the same pattern with outside cuts and rollovers. You will do 12 total reps with 20 second rest in between. Seven to nine minutes of total training time. S turn. Accelerate out of the starting position to your right side and dribble at speed following the path. Use inside cuts to make all three turns and return down the middle of the gates at speed. Stop the ball. Do this twice, then repeat on the left side. After you complete two reps on each side with inside cuts, repeat the same pattern with outside cuts and rollovers. You would do 12 total reps with 30 second rest in between. Eight to 10 minutes of total training time. Dribble turn pass. Begin dribbling at maximum speed to your right using either foot. Weave through the cones using a combination of cuts. Inside, outside, rollovers. Circle around the last cone and deliver an accurate pass to knock down the cone. Reset the cone and repeat.
two reps beginning on the right side and two reps beginning on the left side. 45 second rest in between each rep. Four total attempts, try to knock down all four cones. Six to eight minutes of total training time. This is the DTP test. Compete with me for a faster time. Watch Wayne at full speed. Control the ball through your cuts. Find that right balance of speed and control. Focus on your technique and touch as you deliver a pass to knock down the cone. How fast can you finish and knock down the cone? Beat me if you can. This is five stars ball control workout. Soccer requires balance and coordination with the ball. This five star ball control workout will help you control the ball in the air and on the ground while moving through space. All right, let's get going. The five star ball control workout requires 16 flat discs. Set up nine adjoining squares, each three yards wide by three yards long. Aerial basic. Begin with three touches with your right foot in each square. Catch the ball and move to the next square. Complete all nine squares. Second set is three touches per square with the left foot, all the way through. The next set, three headers in each square. Your full set will be left, right. Two touches in each square. Next, right, left for two touches. Finally, four touches with alternating feet through all nine squares. Aerial basic. Do each sequence twice through. 12 total reps with no rest in between. Five to seven minutes of total training time. Clock. Use an either foot or thigh. Keep the ball in the air and follow the path clockwise. One touch in the first square, two in the second, three in the third. Increase by one for every square. See if you can make it through eight squares keeping the ball up. If the ball drops, pick it up and continue from the same square. Do two sets with 45 second rest in between. If you do not complete both sets within five minutes, move on to the next drill. Note, if keeping the ball in the air is too challenging, catch the ball after you complete each square and move to the next. Air control. First set, use a combination of either foot or thigh for a minimum of three touches per square. Second set, right side only. Third set is left side only. Fourth and final set is to alternate feet, right left, right left. Feet only. If the ball drops, pick it up and continue from the same square. Two reps of each sequence for a total of eight sets. 20 seconds rest in between sets. 8 to 10 minutes of total training time. Double S. Pick the ball up and using either foot or thigh, keep it in the air through the first three squares. Then turn and dribble through the middle. Turn, pick it up and control it in the air through the last three squares. Again, turn and dribble at speed around the outside of the squares to return to the starting point. Do two sets with either side. Two sets right side only, then two sets left side only. And finally, two sets alternating feet only. Eight sets total and rest for 30 seconds in between. Six to eight minutes of total training time. Double O. Begin by dribbling up full speed clockwise around the outside of the space. Control the ball. 
work on your speed, but not at the expense of ball control. When you arrive back at the first square, pick the ball up with either foot and keep the ball in the air for at least one touch in each square. Stay in control. If the ball drops, pick it up with your feet and keep going. Concentrate on light touches. When you return back to the first square, quickly reverse and dribble at speed in the opposite direction around the outside of the space. Dribble fast, but control the ball. Finish at the first square. Do three complete reps at full speed with 45 seconds rest in between. Four to six minutes of total training time. The double low speed test. Stay in control and beat my time if you can. Watch Wayne dribble at max speed around the outside of the space. Low on the turns. Pick the ball up and focus on control. Only one to two touches in each square. Quick and light on the feet. Reverse direction. Speed and control. Stop the ball at the first square and quickly stop the clock. Welcome to Five Stars Running With The Ball and Finishing Workouts. The best players today can run at top speed with the ball. This five star running with the ball and finishing workout will help you develop important technical and finishing skills while improving your acceleration and fitness levels. Let's see what you've got. The five star running with the ball and finishing workout requires eight flat discs and two tall cones. At the edge of the 18 yard box, set up four cones in a line, each two yards apart. Set up another four cones 10 yards away and line them up evenly with the first four. Finally, set up the two tall cones four yards out diagonally from the outside cones. Slingshot. Dribble from the middle gate to the opposite side using either foot. Make a quick turn and pass to the opposite cone. Collect the ball and return to the middle gate. Switch sides. Dribble. Turn, pass, collect the ball and return to the starting point. Do one rep dribbling with either foot, then one rep with right foot only and one with the left foot. Three total reps, 45 second rest in between sets. Reset the cones after each rep, three to five minutes of total training time. Can you knock down all six cones? Next up, run and gun. Let's see how you finish. Push out of the first gate and run at speed with the ball to the back cone. Make a sharp turn and accelerate back through the center gate. Another quick turn. Run with the ball. Turn. Accelerate with the ball and set up your shot. Finish with power and accuracy. If you do not have a goal, pick any target to shoot at. Do two sets using either foot, then two sets right foot only, and two more left only. Six total sets with 20 seconds rest in between. Five to seven minutes of total training time. 88 attack. Dribble at speed with either foot. Turn and use only one touch to control. Try to knock down the tall cone to your right with an accurate pass. Collect the ball and return at speed. Repeat and pass to the other cone to your left. Collect the ball and dribble at speed back to the start. Do two reps dribbling with either foot, then two with right foot only, and two with left only. Six total sets with 20 seconds rest in between. Reset the cones after each rep. Seven to nine minutes of total training time. How many of the 12 cones can you knock down? Yo-yo. Using a maximum of three touches between gates, run with the ball at speed with either foot. Stop the ball and collect the second ball. Maximum of three touches on the other side. Return on a diagonal to the other ball. 
three touches. Repeat this pattern for 45 seconds. Yo-yo. Do two reps using either foot, then two reps with right foot only, and two more left foot only. 45 second rest in between sets. Six to eight minutes of total training time. Zigzag and finish. Use three touches to advance through the first gate. Quick turn. Three touches coming back. Turn. Accelerate. Three touches. Stop the ball in reverse direction. Three touches through each gate. Focus on your technique and control. As you approach the final gate, set up your shot and finish. Zigzag and finish. Do three reps with 30 second rest in between. If you do not have a goal for this drill, shoot at any target with accuracy. Three to five minutes of total training time. Moving on to zigzag and finish. Watch Wayne push the ball ahead out of the first gate. Three touches between gates. Sharp turns. Accelerate. Control the ball. Three touches. This is all about speed and control. Always finish with power and accuracy. Stop the clock quickly to record your time. Your turn. You think you can beat me? Give it a shot. Five stars passing and receiving workout is done with a partner. Passing and receiving are essential to compete at a high level in today's game. This five star workout will help you master your touch, accuracy and technique using both feet. Let's get started. The five star passing and receiving workout setup for parallel control, cross control and master touch requires only six flat discs. Set up three discs next to each other, two yards apart. Set up the other three, ten yards away, and line them up evenly with the first three. The five star passing and receiving workout setup for ping pong and diamond requires eight flat discs and two tall cones. Using the flat discs, set up two squares ten yards apart. The squares should be two yards by two yards. Set up the two tall cones in the middle of the two squares and eight yards apart from each other. Ping pong. Each player stays inside the square. One touch control and make an accurate pass back to your partner using the same foot. Repeat 10 times each for one full set. Then control inside foot and passing opposite foot. Next, one touch pass with either foot. Focus on your technique and accuracy. 10 passes each player per set. Two sets with 10 second rest in between. Ping pong should take you three to five minutes to complete all six sets. Challenge each other in each set. How many accurate passes can you make in a row? The diamond drill is about accuracy, so grab a partner and focus on your technique. Begin by dribbling right to the outside cone. Touch and pass into the front of the opposite square. Receive, control to the side. Pass into the front of the square. Repeat 10 accurate passes each. After you have each made 10 accurate passes on the right side, switch to the left side and repeat. Ten accurate passes each player on the right side. And ten accurate passes each on the left side. How many of your 20 passes can you accurately deliver in the front of the opposite square? Three to five minutes of total training time. Parallel control. Get started by controlling inside foot and passing opposite foot. Back and forth with your partner. Get a rhythm going. 10 times each player, then reverse direction. Another 10 times each. Next, control inside foot and pass same foot 10 times. Then reverse direction for 10 passes each. Finally, 
control outside foot and pass same foot for 10 passes. Reverse direction for 10 more passes each. You will each do 10 passes per set. Repeat twice with 10 second rest in between each of the six sets. Seven to nine minutes of total training time. Cross control. Alternate straight pass, diagonal pass. Straight, diagonal. One touch passing. Be precise with your passing through the front of each gate. Straight, diagonal. Make 10 passes each. Then change to the opposite direction. Each player will make 10 accurate one touch passes in one direction and 10 passes each in the opposite direction. Repeat twice. How many of your 40 passes can you deliver accurately into the front of the opposite square? Four to six minutes of total training time. Master touch. For the first part of this exercise, see how many one touch parallel passes you can complete in one minute. Alternating left foot and right foot. For the second part of Master Touch, follow a sequence of three passes. One touch parallel pass and control to the side. Parallel pass and control to the side and diagonal pass. One touch parallel pass, control to the side, parallel pass and control to the side and diagonal pass. How many accurate passes can you complete in one minute? Do each one minute sequence twice with 20 second rest in between. Five to seven minutes of total training time. Join me for five stars shooting work out. Attacking the defender with confidence, finishing with accuracy, shooting with power. These are the things that great players do to score goals. The five star shooting workout will help you develop the power, accuracy and mindset necessary to become a great finisher. Come on, let's get on with it. The five star shooting workout requires 10 flat discs. Set up four discs evenly, two yards apart on the 18 yard line in front of the goal. Set up a lane placing two discs at five yards back, 10 yards back and 13 yards back from the 18 yard line. Serve and volley. Your partner will stand two yards away from you and serve the ball to you in the air. Strike the ball with the inside of your right foot 20 times in a row. Then switch to the inside of your left foot, 20 reps also. Next, repeat the same sequence striking the ball with your laces. Serve and volley, 20 reps right foot, then 20 reps left foot. Serve and volley will include a total of 80 reps and should take you three to five minutes to complete. Roll and return. Your partner will stand 10 yards away and will roll the ball to you on the ground. You will begin by returning the ball in the air with the inside of your right foot 10 times. Work on striking the ball cleanly. Then 10 reps inside left foot. Repeat using laces. Roll and return. Do 10 reps with each foot using the inside foot and 10 reps each foot using laces. Try to deliver all 40 balls accurately to your partner's hands. Four to six minutes of total training time. Rapid fire. It's all about your technique. Set up four shooting points in front of the goal at the 18 yard line. Start at the far right position and work right to left. Run around the cone, return and shoot using your inside foot into either zone A or zone B of the goal. Shoot with your right foot with the first two balls and your left foot with the other two. Focus on your technique and on striking the ball cleanly. Rapid fire. Do two sets moving right to left, shooting with your inside foot, and then two sets moving left to right. Repeat, shooting with your laces. Eight total sets, with 20 seconds rest in between. 10 to 12 minutes of total training time. Next up, fork. 
It's all about your position. Dribble at speed towards the goal. Sharp change of direction to the right at the second gate. Shoot from the outside right position. Second ball. Change of direction to the right. Finish with power and accuracy. Collect the third ball and change direction left past the second gate. Finish side net. With the final ball, cut to the outside left position and make a great finish. Fork. Do one set moving from the right to left, shooting with your inside foot. Then one set moving left to right. Repeat shooting with your laces. Four total sets with 20 second rests in between. Six to eight minutes of total training time. The king drill, it's all about sharpness. Beat your defender and finish. Beginning at the first gate, accelerate with the first ball towards the goal. At the middle cone, make a sharp inside cut. Finish side net. Collect the second ball and attack. Outside cut and finish side net. Third ball. Use a step over to beat the imaginary defender and finish. With the fourth ball, use a Rooney flip flack move. Always focus on finishing with power and accuracy. This is one full set. King drill, eight total sets with 40 second rest in between. Alternate between your right and left side on each of the moves. Inside cuts, outside cuts, step overs and Rooney flip flap. Six to eight minutes of total training time.